What's going on everyone, it's Del Junior 2 back here with another YouTube video and we have another roster update, this time on a Thursday. So Shane Bieber got a plus 2 overall, so now he's at 89 overall. He got plus 3 to his hits per 9, plus 5 to his strikeouts per 9, and plus 1 to his walks per 9. Sonny Gray went from an 85 to an 86. He got plus 1 to his strikeouts per 9 and plus 3 to his walks per 9. We have our first new diamond here. Aaron Nola went from an 84 to an 85. He got plus two to his hits per nine, plus two to his strikeouts per nine, and plus two to his walks per nine. He's really been really good this year. So I think that Nola's deserving of that. Zach Greinke, also the same thing, brand new diamond. In his last start, he went like eight innings, I think, and had a, another solid start, so this makes sense that he's a diamond as well. So he got plus two to his hits per nine, plus two to his strikeouts per nine, plus two to his walks per nine, and plus seven to his home runs per nine. Kenta Maeda got a plus three. He um, almost threw the no-hitter on Tuesday night, so that's well-deserved. He got plus seven to his hits per nine, plus two to his strikeouts per nine, and plus five to his walks per nine. Lou Darvish got a plus one, so he got plus five to his hits per nine and plus one to his strikeouts per nine. Blake Snell got a plus one. He got plus one to his strikeouts per nine and then plus two to his walks per nine. Chris Paddock got downgraded. He went from an 83 to an 82. He got minus three to his hits per nine, minus two to his strikeouts per nine, and minus one to his walks per nine. Hin Jun Ryu got a plus one overall. He got plus one to his hits per nine and plus three to his strikeouts per nine. Max Fried here is a well-deserved gold. He's been having a pretty good year today and he only has an ERA of 1.24. So he got plus five to those hits per nine. So Merrill Kelly here got an upgrade to a 79 overall. He's inching closer and closer to gold. He got plus five to his hits per nine, plus five to his strikeouts per nine, and plus five to his walks per nine. So Kyle Hendricks got a plus one to his overall. He got plus two to his hits per nine, plus two to his strikeouts per nine, and plus two to his walks per nine. Zach Gowan is inching closer to gold as well. He got plus four to his strikeouts per nine, and plus ten to his walks per nine. As for relievers, Chad Green got a plus two overall, so he's at 83 overall now. He got plus 11 to his hits per nine, plus one to his strikeouts per nine, and plus 12 to his homers per nine. Edwin Diaz got a plus one overall. He got plus one to his strikeouts per nine, and plus three to his walks per nine. Tyler Duffy is now at 81 overall as well. He got plus one to his hits per nine and also plus five to his walks per nine. Emilio Pagan was a gold, but now he's a silver. He got minus five to his hits per nine, minus two to his strikeouts per nine, and minus five to his walks per nine. As for closing pitchers, Liam Hendricks got plus one to his hits per nine and plus three to his walks per nine. And Drew Pomeraz is now a 78 overall. He did also get a position change. He got minus 20 to his stamina, plus five to his hits per nine, plus three to his strikeouts per nine, and plus three to his walks per nine. As for catchers, Wilson Contreras is no longer a gold player. He got minus 17 to his contact versus lefties, minus four to his power versus righties, minus three to, to power versus lefties, Minus 7 to his vision and minus 5 for his discipline. Christian Vasquez also got a minus 2, so he's back to his silver. He got minus 5 to his contact versus righties and minus 6 to his vision. Wilson Ramos got a minus 2. He got minus 11 to his contact versus right, minus 4 to his power versus right, and also minus 7 to his vision. Julie Goriel got a plus one. He got minus 14 to his contact versus right, plus 15 to his contact versus left, 
minus 3 to his power versus right, plus 12 to his power versus left, and plus 15 to his discipline. Luke Voigt is officially a gold player. He's hitting 306 this year, and he already has 10 homers, so he's been killing it so far. He got plus 7 to his contact versus left, plus 5 to his power versus right, plus 8 to his power versus left, minus 4 to his vision, and minus 13 to his, his discipline. Carlos Santana here got a downgrade to an 80. He got minus 4 to his contact versus right, minus 4 to his power versus right, minus 7 to his vision, but plus 7 to his discipline. He's been getting on base, it's just his average isn't where he wants it to be. Max Muncy went from a gold to a silver, he got minus 6 to his contact versus right, minus 5 to his contact versus left, and minus 4 to his power versus right. Whip Merrifield is a brand new diamond player as well, he got minus 8 to his contact versus right, plus 10 to his contact versus lefties, plus 13 power versus righties, and then also minus 7 to his discipline. Brandon Lowe's been tearing it up so far this year. He got a plus 10 to his contact versus right, plus 13 to his contact versus left, plus 6 power against righties, plus 8 power versus lefties, and also plus 10 to his vision. Jeff McNeil got a minus 2. He's been struggling a bit this year. He got minus 9 to his contact versus right, plus 6 to his contact versus left, minus 9 to his power against righties, minus 3 to his vision, and plus 7 to his discipline. Robinson Cano is a brand new gold. He got plus 7 to his contact versus right, plus 5 contact versus left, plus 7 power versus right, and plus 3 power versus lefty. He's hit a few homers this week, so this upgrade makes a lot of sense. So Colton Long got a downgrade. He got minus 13 to his contact versus right, and minus 3 to his contact versus left. Kevin Piggio got a plus 4. He's still a bronze player, though. He got plus 5 to his contact versus left, plus 14 to that power versus right. He's plus 11 to the vision, but minus 9 to the discipline. Nick Solak got a plus 4. He got plus 11 for his contact versus righties, plus 6 for the power versus righties, plus 13 for the vision, and plus 7 for the discipline. And D. Gordon got a minus 2. He got minus 8 to his contact versus righties, minus 12 for his contact versus lefties, minus 11 for his vision, and plus 11 for his discipline. Anthony Rendon got a plus 1. So now he's at 87 overall. He got plus four to his power versus right, plus two to his power versus left, minus six to his vision, and plus five to his discipline. Manny Machado got a downgrade. He got minus eight to his contact versus right, minus 13 for his contact versus left, plus two for the power against lefties, minus four for the vision, and plus 10 for the discipline. And also earlier this week, he made that fantastic play in right field. Fernando Tatis got a well-deserved upgrade. He got plus nine to his power versus righties and plus four to his power versus lefties. He had the home run that the Rangers did not like on the 3-0 count he hit it. Comment down below if you think he was in the right or the wrong. Trevor Story did not get an overall upgrade, but he did get plus 15 to his ceiling. Javier Baez got a minus one, so he got minus three to his contact versus right, and minus four to his power versus righties. Carlos Correa also got a minus one. He got minus six to his power versus righties, and minus three to his power versus lefties. Trey Turner got plus four to his contact versus right, minus 15 to his contact versus left, plus five to his power versus righties, plus four to his power versus lefties and plus five to his vision. Xander Bogarts got a downgrade. He got minus eight to his contact versus right, plus five to his contact versus left, minus five for his power against right. He's plus two for his power against lefties and minus four for his vision. Corey Seager got 
a nice boost here. He hit a homer against the Mariners, and also his brother Kyle hit a homer in the same game. He got plus 5 to his contact versus right, minus 13 to his contact versus left, plus 12 to the power versus righties, plus 7 vision, and minus 7 discipline. And Bo Bichette got plus 43 to his stealing. So now he's a 81 overall. Tim Anderson got plus 14 to his power versus lefties and minus 9 to his contact versus righties. So he stays at an 80 overall. Jose Iglesias is the first Baltimore Orioles gold this year. He got plus 3 to his contact versus righties and plus 8 for contact versus lefties. David Peralta got a plus one overall. He got plus six to his contact versus righties and plus 10 to his vision. Tommy Pham got minus five to his contact versus right, minus three to his power versus righties, but plus 25 ceiling and he's staying at an 80 overall. Eloy Jimenez got a plus one overall. He got plus 10 power versus lefties and also minus six to his discipline. Anthony Santander got plus 11 for his contact versus right, minus 8 for his contact versus left, plus 18 for his power versus righties, and plus 9 for his vision. He did hit a home run against Nate Pearson earlier in the week. So Teoscar Hernandez got a plus 3, he got plus 6 for his contact versus righties, plus 15 for his contact versus lefties plus 4 to his power against righties, and plus 10 to his vision, but minus 20 to his discipline. Robbie Grossman got a plus 3 overall, so now he's a silver. He got plus 3 to his contact versus right, and plus 11 to his power versus right. Corey Dickerson went down. He got minus 16 to his contact versus right, and minus 4 to his contact versus left. Jesse Winker got an upgrade here. He got plus... 9 to his contact versus right, plus 10 to his contact versus left, plus 6 to his power versus righties, minus 8 vision, but plus 6 discipline. For center fielders, Luis Robert got a plus 1 overall. He got plus 6 for his contact versus right, minus 8 for the contact versus lefties, plus 13 for the power versus righties. Minus 9 to his vision, plus 14 for the discipline, and also plus 4 for the steal. Kevin Pillar is still a 78 overall, but he got a plus 15 to his contact versus righties, minus 8 to his contact versus lefties, plus 3 power against lefties, minus 11 vision, but plus 9 to his discipline. For right fielders, Nelson Cruz got a nice upgrade here. He got plus 4 to his contact versus righties, plus 14 for the contact versus lefties, and plus 4 for the power versus lefties. So he's a really good pinch hitter, but also he has the flashback card now. So I personally would probably use the flashback card, but this card's still a very good live series card. Alex Verdugo just went gold. He got plus 9 for the contact versus righties, plus 14 for the power versus righties, plus 5 power against lefties but minus 11 to his vision. Randall Gritchick went silver. He got plus 9 to his contact versus righties, plus 9 to his contact versus lefties, plus 6 to his power versus righties, plus 6 vision, and plus 11 to his discipline. Tramiel Reyes got plus 2, so he also just got silver. He got plus 12 to his contact versus righties, minus 6 to the contact versus lefties, plus 3 to his vision, and minus 7 to his discipline. Jorge Soler's Jorge Soler got minus 14 contact versus lefties, minus 6 power versus righties, and lefties, and minus 2 to his vision. Also, there's new Tops Now mission, and there's also a, a new um, player program. So for August 10th to 16th, there's some missions. The first one is win one game. So it looks like you just have to hit a walk-off single against the Marlins. And then we have this next one, which is Austin Hayes hit the inside the park homer in the 10th inning. 
So you have to win that game in the 10th inning. And then with Clint Frazier, you have to hit one home run. For this one, Thomas you know, got two extra base hits and a home run. So you need to get two extra base hits and one of them has to be a home run. For this one, you just have to hit one home run with Jordan Alvarez. And then lastly, in seven games, you have to tally seven extra base hits and seven RBIs with Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette recently has just been on an absolute tear. And then also, for the seventh inning, there's this John Lester program. So you have to pitch five innings, strike out three batters, and you cannot give up one run. Pitch two innings, strike out three batters, you cannot give up a hit or a run. Strike out seven batters, don't give up two runs. Pitch three innings, strike out four batters, don't give up two runs. And then strike out nine batters. And lastly, there's a new headliners pack. So for this one, it's a 96 closing pitcher, John Smoltz. He has five pitches. He has a slider, four seam, splitter, changeup, and curveball. His strikeouts per nine are 116, and his hits per nine are 104. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below who you think is going to go diamond next week.